What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic Online. Uh, we are doing a stipulation from Badger, RPG Badger, a basically the grand, the godfather of the stream. Pack one, choose a color and can only be that color. So I choose black, I can only be black. Second, pack two, choose a second color. Picks can only be either the new color and or the first pack color. Pack three, can, I can choose a third color. Picks can be only the three colors you've chosen. Lands and colorless are exceptions. So if I want to take a land, if I want to take an artifact, those are fine. Um, I don't have to take a third color. I don't even have to take a second color. Uh, I can stick with the first color. But I think once I choose a color... I guess I don't have to choose like I can I can be like pack two pick one black if I if I'm if I pack one is all black I can go pack two pick one black pick two black and then pick three blue and that would be my chosen color I would assume Badger maybe you can uh, let me know if that sounds good to you tastes like someone ate some fruit then spit in this <laughs> yeah we were talking about how uh, with these with the like the water enhancers like if you it's okay if you use enough to flavor the water and it's okay if you use none. But if you use too little, it's just like, it's just a terrible experience. But also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, or if you guys are watching on Twitch even, um, there's a link below. I played a game called Viking uh, War of Clans this this past week. Uh, it was another Playroom game, and uh, it's another sponsored sponsored game that I played. And I have a gr there's great incentives for me. Once again, if you guys just download the game, play it out, and uh, run through the tutorial. That's it. It takes about five to eight minutes. Not a super long time. But uh, it's a great way to support me. It's a great way to help me pay my rent. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel in a free way, definitely try to download the game. Play through the tutorial. Use the link below. It will be in the Twitch description. It'll be, it's in my YouTube description. And you can find it in the subscriber Discord. And uh, it's definitely a really, really easy way to, to help out the stream. Especially if you guys did the same thing for Raid Shadow Legends. So... And we're going to try to see if we can... Oh my god, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Mutual MXLP? I have no idea what that was. But I believe it was Michael B. How about we start with Garuda, and then we can actually build around Garuda. Do you guys want to do that? Wait, we can't do that. We're doing a stipulation. Dang it. Okay. Okay, it's either... I think it's Mystic Confluence. I, I want to take Shauna, but I don't want to be locked into red. Badger, if I take Solemn Simulacrum, I can just not be locked into a color, right? Because that's an exception, so I could just, like, save it till the next one. Okay, okay. Um, <sighs> Mystic Confluence is good enough for me to take here, though. I want to be honest with you. I'm going to take Mystic Confluence. God, I'm such a sucker for blue cards, though. It's, like, one of my favorite cards in the cube. Like... What are you going to do? Sunny D, it'll burn your crown. <laughs> Alright, now we're blue. So I can take Muldrifter. I can take Big Moles. Not Elf. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even see an elf in that pack. But that's on me. Oh, we can also take Duplicant. Oh, man. I think Big Moles is better. Ooh, Mana War or Force of Negation. I think Force is better. We just passed Underground Sea and Watery Rave. Two lands which would have been great in the last draft. I'm going to take Force. Alright, we're blue. We're locked into blue for sure. <sighs> Walking Ballista. We can take Electrolyze, I guess. I don't think it's Delver. I really just don't like Delver. I think we take Electrolyze and we try to maybe pick up Red next pack. Stratus Dancer is not great. Wooded Foothills. Let's take Wooded Foothills. With a Red Lean. We're doing that Red Lean. More like Duplicant. I love Duplicant. Dupli Duplicant? Toucan? Into the Royal or Gilded Lotus? Ooh, Gilded Lotus again. Another five drop, though. I think I'm just taking Into the Royal here. I don't think we're going to be ramping into things. 
Plus, I actually like Into the Royal quite a bit, so. It's more like Poop Seeker. Uh, Overground Tomb and Scrubland are not great. I could take Nicol Bolas. It is a blue card. I'm going to take Nicol Bolas. What if we're just Grixis? It, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it can only be monocolored to me. Like, it sounds like pack one, choose a color, and can only be that color. I am only, like, this is... I don't know, actually. Maybe because maybe of the wording. I'm just going to take Phantasm on the chair, though. Oh, Garuda came back. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm just taking the Garuda. Okay, no, no colors. I'm just gonna take the red card. Cards have to be at least that color. That's all I wanted to know. Cause I was like, as long as I'm taking blue cards, like these are still blue cards. And I might not even play them. Man of War. Man of War was the other card I was even considering. I'll take Delver because it's the only blue card and I don't care about. Oh, we do have Phantasmal Image and Garuda, so that's actually pretty sweet. Eh, Gifts and Given's fine. It's not exciting, but I'll take it. Eh, we'll take this guy because we could be red again. Red looks like the most likely color that we're going to try to lock into. <sighs> and that helps. Okay. Now our color. Oh, boy. I think I could take this as a blue card, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if I take this, I'm, I'm like locking into black anyway, because I want to, right? So. I feel like Primeval Titan here. Oh, I kind of like Primeval Titan here. And like Sylvan Library could come back. I think it's prime time. Badger, think of the elves too. I'm going to take prime time. Lock it into green, boys. Ooh, Urza. This pack's actually great. Sylvan Carry Added's great. Ancestral Vision's great. Urza's great. Beanstalk's great. Jeffrey B., have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support earlier. Really appreciate it, my dude. Really appreciate it. I think it's actually Sylvan Carry Added here. Like, Chris, I love Plow Under as much as the next guy, but without any ramp, really, I kind of just want to take start taking some ramp. Shut up and take my money. Oh, my God. What is this? Do I want to know? I feel like I don't. I feel like I'm going to get frightened. Hold on. So, green or blue? Oh, this guy's still blue. And I am trying to be teamer a little bit. I think this guy might come back. We could take Stomping Ground. Which works really well with Wooded Foothills. Alright, we're taking that. I'm trying. I'm trying to, to navigate into a teamer. Accent Stip. Family version. Use accents during your draft portion. At least together with Mike. Firm acting as a Russian vampire is okay. But if possible with Katie as well. Wow. I don't know if it's possible with Katie. Just because... Um, Katie's got to work until Wednesday, and that's when the cube goes away, which is really unfortunate. Are we taking Copperline Gorge? Yeah. 
I think it's better than Harmonize. In a blue deck, we have plenty of ways to draw cards. Brainstorm. It's gotta be Brainstorm or like Thing in the Ice. Lightning Greaves, not super exciting with, not super exciting. <sighs> Lightning Greaves on Primeval Titan is not actually the worst. So salty, man. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Um, I don't like Brainstorm. I think I'm going to take Greaves. Grim Monolith? This is a late Grim Monolith. Yeah, that's an easy choice. All right, we got Brawl, Primal Command, or Thirst. I think it's actually Thirst. Yeah, I think Thirst is better. Genesis Wave. Ramming up could be decent if we hit more... We have Wooded Foothills. If we hit more, like, Fetch Lands. If that Flooded Strand comes back, it could be decent. I think it's better than Genesis Wave. Whirler Rogue? I actually don't hate that. Nothing, so I'll take Roast and Hedge for the Red. Niv-Mizzet came back is what we're hoping for. Also want to hit this guy off Garuda. That would be bonkers. Um, eh, I'll post siege. Sure. Lots of red cards. actually don't hate lightning greaves here and yes for the dogs i hope the dogs don't bark at all oh what up chugrind good seeing you my dude always a pleasure eh, treetop village is fine unexciting but fine Hour is fine. Oh, actually, we have to do green, so we have to take Night of Autumn. So, I almost messed up there. Collective Defiance. Okay, now we get to pick another color. But, for this pack, I'm probably just taking Coalition Relic. Because this card is like... This is as close to, like, power acceleration as you can get in Legacy Cube. Not including Grim Model, obviously. Okay, still wanting red. I think it's just Glenelendra here. Glenelendra's real good. I don't think we're on a... Uh, Ulamog's interesting because we could hit it with Garuda. We also have like Grimonolith Coalition Relic. But right now we're on green, blue, colorless with no commitment to a third color yet. I think it's Glenn or Ulamog. I think it's Glenn. And maybe Ulamog comes back. Because I can still hit Glenn with Garuda, but it's more reasonable to cast. We also do have Prime Time. Primals make... Oh, Kozilek's interesting. I almost like Kozilek better because we are casting it. Uh, is it cast or what puts it into play? Okay, it just goes into play, so we're not actually casting it. Inferno Titan, also good. Man, again, we have Wormcoil, Inferno, and Kozilek. Jeez. Jeez. We also have three fixing lands, four red. None for blue. I'm going to take Inferno. Scalding Tarn seems fantastic here. So does Control Magic. No, we want Scalding Tarn, especially with Ramunap Excavator. Oh, I like a Coercive Portal. Yep. Down to Clown with that guy. I would love a land I can search for with Scalding Tarn that is not just a basic. 
blood braid elf i want to hit force of negation though i think that's the only thing i'm worried about though might be worth it Are, is this when it comes into play or when it's cast when it enters the battlefield could go show and tell in the garuda into like hit something hopefully Yeah, no, we can search for some. I'm in, I'm in a blue source. I'm in a, a non-island source. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take Bloodbraid Elf. Do we have any way to do we have anything to do with this? Do we just take it in case like through the breach is one of the next two cards? I actually love this Vivian as well. Hmm. I think it's Rattleclaw or Vivian. I'm gonna take Vivian. I think Vivian's stronger. Oh, Zealous Conscripts? That's pretty good. Take RM. Rattleclaw Mystic? Um, alright. Drag Daddy. Actually, Anger seems pretty pretty decent in our deck we have very few things that it can kill but it's also a card we kind of want oh we also have electrolyze here oh kiki jiki might want city of brass i know it's an infinite combo but like our i'm just taking that vendillion click seems fine Lumbering Falls came back. That's exciting. Fire and Ice is good. Chicken. I also have a Roast, which is not bad. <laughs> okay okay we need four cuts that's quite a few cuts i think we can cut thirst cut whirler rogue this is more like a two drop we can definitely cut one of the five drops i think it's actually kiki jiki but then again being able to go like kiki jiki and to copy either one of these or zealous conscripts is just wins the game so maybe not excavator might be too cute i don't really care about that guy I thought I heard birds chirping, but it was actually just little. It was actually just little Watson chewing on his bone. He's having a, he's having a good time. You know what? I, I'll I'll keep you a mold drifter too. I don't mind. Is it rekindling Phoenix? That guy's really good though. I think we just play forty one, because. Ain't no shame in my 41 card game. Sort by Colares. And that's just blue. Let's make sure they don't try to sneak any swamps in, which they'd always do. Not not a ton of green, which is nice. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus carry added can produce green and coalition relic. That seems fine. One, two, three, four. This is eight. And we have four, five, six, seven, eight, six, ten, twelve, 
And that's 41. All right, let's do it. All right, Badger, let's see what we can do. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think if we hit a blue, Electrolyze can keep us afloat. Three, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Let the pogs rain down from the heavens and bless this badger draft. Stomping ground? Okay. I mean, it's still a third land, which I'm totally fine with, because if we hit a blue, we get the Chorus of Portal and play Electrolyze. If we don't hit a blue, they're just going to hit a Tauragus. Oh, they didn't. Wild. Okay, double blue card. Not exactly the same as a blue, blue mana. Okay, they're not doing anything either, though. Uh, I think based on the fact that we missed land drops, I think we're just actually activating this to Course of Portal here. And hopefully the Mono Black deck just can't deal with a Course of Portal. Because honestly, Grim Monolith doesn't let us do anything else in this hand anyway. We still need at least two blue, one blue, or one more red. Sure. Our hand's actually pretty stacked once we start hitting blue sources. What do you take here? Missed the Confluence, probably. That's my bet. <sighs> Kiki Jiki, joke's on you, it is not nearly as good as you think. Blind bisexual goose stuck in love triangle with two swans dies aged for it. Oh, oh, <laughs> homage. Make sure to keep drinking water. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. See, this is why I wanted a, a blue land we could fetch because now we're just like, I guess we can untap this. I guess that's fine. But good gravy, man. One volcanic island slash breeding pool slash tropical island slash steam vents for my kingdom. Murderous red cap. Just dealing two? Oh my god, I didn't even tap it. I'm such an actual idiot. I totally forgot. Wow, that was bad. Yep, that is unfortunate. Could have actually played Primeval this turn. Would have been good. That was bad. And I still think we're way ahead with double artifacts against a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to... I'm not going to two-for-one myself, so you can take the Mystic Confluence if you'd like. Yeah, 
and they did. I assume they're going to play something else, right? Otherwise, you attack with Mutant Bolt. Fascinating. All right. Still a tapped Grim Monolith. Pretty sure we play Garuda here. Because we actually don't need the mana. And we could hit like a Phyrexian. What if we hit like Phyrexian Negator or something? Phyrexian Obliterator, rather. And. Glenalendra seems great! Was it turn 7? Wow, it was turn seven. That's wild. Uh, yeah, can't do anything about this, so... Where did Jimulum? Glen. Oh, Glenulum. That's good. That's topical. I don't know. Double black, triple black seems. Seems indicative of the double black, but. So they don't actually have any creatures to get back with this. So if we kill this now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can actually go Primeval Titan. Phantasmal Image? I like Vivian too. Hmm. I might as well say blue here. We have enough of every color that it's not like... One, two, three, four, five, six. I also just don't think I care about this guy right now. Yeah, I think we're just prime timing. Keeping up Galenalinger Archmage. Archmage. I did have Relic on six, but I mean not hitting a blue land until turn seven is still something else. Let's get Lumbering Falls. And I guess just a an island. Three or less, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, the only thing we're scared of is like Chupacabra or like Bone Shredder, right? Because we can't counter those. Because Shriek Maw's in the graveyard. We can counter any spell that they try to kill Prime Time with. Dismember. Sure. Yeah. I'll let you dismember.
fatal push. Oh, in response, they're going to dismember. That's pretty good. This is actually a solid play. I mean, it's not going to work, but... Yep, I'm just going to keep on homaging. Homage. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a, that's a juicy one. Red, 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 blue, blue, blue. What's that, a blue? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're just copying. This is a lot of mana. There's a lot of six sixes on board. I mean, even if they like damnation, if they have like a toxic deluge for six, we still get to draw a card, slam Vivian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, if this was untapped, then yes. Um, I think we're actually getting rid of the second primeval titan because I think keeping this up in case they have go for the throat is just better. Plus, this guy's just lethal. So, like, I assume they have like Doomblade go for the throat. I think keeping original Niv Mizzet and original Primeval Titan are just better. Necromancy. Uh, no. I mean, I, I, you're probably just dead here, right? This is two, three, five, plus the one from drawing a card. They kind of have to attack. Oh, they are dead. Yeah, that's true. They could have actually killed the fake titan if they did have removal, so... So now we have multiple ways of dealing them damage. Draw two cards. Keep on shooting you in the brain. Get him. It's really a slaughter pact, and then I'm like Inferno Titan. This guy doesn't have reach, right? Two cards, hush, hush. Two car, two cards, cards, hush, hush. I do, I, I do, I. Isn't it eye to eye? Did your phone correct hush to huh, huh, huh? I actually don't mind light. Reach isn't in Black's color pie, or are you right? You right, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nah, I'm on desktop. <laughs> I just forgot them S's myself. I kind of like Greaves. I think we're good, though. I like the Rostas 5, so I can kill their, their dummy. Come on, buddy.
You ever finish Halo? I haven't seen any streams. Was Chris streaming Halo? Oh. I actually, I have not played much Halo. I think I played probably like an hour of Halo in my whole life. Guys, are you ready for this this dog cam? It's looking pretty. It's looking pretty choice. Guys, go to go to the, the the Vikings War of Clans link, down in my Twitch profile or through Command Vikings, and sign up for me. It's a great way to support the channel. It is free, absolutely free. You just have to play through the tutorial. It takes about five to eight minutes. It's not super long, and it's absolutely a free way to support the channel. Affinity, I appreciate you. This is a turn four mole drifter. Oh, it's not anymore. Well, we had a good run, Molly. Well, where were you last turn? Chris, you gotta update me on your moving sitch. Why don't you just move to Denver and then you guys we can open a mock sporting house in Denver. Mock sporting house Denver. Okay. God, man, that this one is so good now. Turn, turn four prime. Is Vikings free or free AF? It's free AF, bro. Mox Denver house, Denver boarding house. Now that just sounds too generic, I guess. Oh, I kind of hope they attack with the. Uh, I kind of hope they attack with the Mina Vault again, because then I can go. Pa -pa! Okay, that guy's pretty good. That guy's... I'm going to start moving on Wednesday, taking Wednesday to Sunday off. Dude, moving is such a pain in the ass. I wish I could help you, buddy. I mean, in a sense, I don't because I don't want to move again. But in another sense, I do. Because you're my friend. Badger, where are you moving? Are you finally going to Japan? I actually don't remember if that was confirmed or if that was just the desire. The Mox Denver house for people who want to play magic and do other things good too. <laughs> is that like the... Uh, is that a Zoolander reference? Okay, I like it. I think it's Stomping Ground? Actually, it's probably just a mountain. I don't want to take two extra damage. I don't want to lose any bay days. Sadly, no. Moving back in with my in-laws so I can save money to allow me to study Japanese university, then do an exchange so I can... Dude, Kermit... Or <laughs> Badger, that actually sounds awesome, dude. Like, as soon as you said Japan, I was like, oh, shit, this is a Kerwit message. I got to respond to it in such a way. What is this? What just happened? I see. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Did Mo did Moochel go to sleep? I don't know who Mitchell is. That's a person that doesn't exist. I will assume you mean Moochel. And uh, the answer is yes. They have a lot of lifelink here. Got to be honest, not loving it. Hello, my name is Meechels. Our options here are not great. I can play Prime Time. Which is actually probably our best option if they don't have a way to handle it. Handle your business. Yeah, like, Badger, as, as much as that situation is not the ideal situation, like, it still seems like a pretty good, like, a pretty good plan. Yep, don't care about that. Okay, I think Primeval Titan might single-handedly stabilize us. Also, going back to school sounds sick, too, so congrats on that, buddy.
One, two, three, four, five. What we can do is actually zealous conscripts steal their cavalier of night and then miss uh, phantasmal image cavalier. What if we did it the other way? What if we stole Kalidus? Phantasmal image this guy, sack the Kalidus, kill the cavalier. Someone on my new team thought a 9am meeting would be a cool... <laughs> Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. See, that was a turn. See, if we took the Cavalier and then sacrificed it to the Cavalier, like, they would still get a creature for Kalidus. Let's get Lumbering. And just keep getting mountains, I guess. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. We still have 12 mana with the Grim Monolith. Um, yeah, sure, this is just a fine trade for me. Normally much VODs, is this your normal streaming time? It's not. My normal streaming time is earlier in the day, but my schedule's been messed up for the past couple weeks, so. Well, Cavalier of Night be dead. Oh! Oh my god, that was epic. I may have forgotten that was gonna happen. All right, so I think I'm just tapping this guy down. Okay, that's really good. What happened was they killed, they targeted my, my Phantasmal image with Murderous Redcap, and it was a Cavalier of Night. So the Cavalier trigger went on the stack to return a creature with three or, power, with converted mana cost three or less. And then the Phantasmal image came back. So now I just get to attack with both of the titans and basically get every land out of my deck almost and then we're gonna get wooded foothills and island so the last land is we have one land in our deck one two three four five six seven eight nine so now we're gonna go like this so we can play glenlendra and also keep up mystic confluence but we can also just activate glenlendra if we want to as well do you have to exile Cavalier to do this or just when it dies? Um, I, I don't know where it went. I think it got exiled. Fuck, where'd it go? Uh, return, when it dies, return a creature card. No, it's just return a creature card. Badger, we're, un we're undefeated so far in this tip. Oh, we're playing the old man. Uh, this is fine because of Ice and Vendillion Click. And if we draw Copperline Gorge, Stomping Ground, I think we're good too. <coughs> yeah, it would make sense. Oh, water went down the wrong pipe. It would make sense they don't have to exile it, otherwise it wouldn't work. Okay, okay. <coughs> I'm dying. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, we did draw the copper line gorge. <coughs> Wild. One down. Old man Conway hates poop. Don't put it out with your boss. <laughs> Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. Game of Overwatch is over. What is that? Were, was I just in your? Was I just your background, Chris? Was I just your background? Chris is like, I gotta go to bed now. Ooh, I like it. I think I'm gonna tap this. Utopia Sprawl? They're probably going to take two, though. Do you think they're going to take two? I think they're going to take two. <coughs> Maybe they don't. <clears throat> Maybe they forget. Oh, they didn't. So I basically got fire and ice out of this. It's too good. Oh man, Coalition Relic into either one of these guys. Let's do it. Um, well, <laughs> that guy's real good with the spell skite out. I could electrolyze it, but then they could just redirect. Oral said, if you need help moving, let me know. I'm free Friday. I can't tell if he's being serious. We did end up picking Anger of the Gods. Anger of the Gods. Come on, a little... Oh, now we don't have a... Nope, no five drop for us. Or I guess no six drop for us. That's unfortunate. Well, one, two, three, four. Could play Vivian. It's probably Vivian, right? I feel like that's good enough. Plus, if we hit a land next turn, it's good. Well, that's interesting. Oh my god, this is the wrong one. Oh, I just instinctively clicked it because I was like, plus one's not the oh that's so bad i'm so bad at magic sometimes guys oh my god well that's the wrong one now who's the old man because i'm like negative two clearly that's how you make a three three clearly not talking and playing is hard My god, that was so bad. I'm gonna take advantage of your misplay. Oh my god, Chris pushed Warhammer and Magic on you? I have no idea why you guys are still friends. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna play Vendillion Click here, keep up Force of Negation, and then we get to play Garuda, Niv Mizzet, or Inferno Titan, so. That was such a stupid... Oh my god, I'm so mad at myself. Like, that was game-changing. <laughs> Upheaval, which is super weird. Swords, <laughs> Primeval Titan, Grave Titan, Assassin's Trophy. We got one, two, three, four, five lands. Huh. I think I just let them. Fuck. 
I sold him space goats and space elves. I'm just gonna let them keep this hand. <clears throat> we know they don't have a land, so they can't play Primeval or Grave Titan or Upheaval this turn. They can Assassin's Trophy or they can Swords to Plowshares this. Space what? Oh, what up, Case? Yep. Scared of Electrolyze here. Electrolyze is not as good as Spell Skype. Their deck seems great. Okay. Seems good. I think we just got a Garuda here. I think it gives us the most value on the board. Or potentially. Even though they have two six drops that I'd love to hit in hand, and I have two six drops I'd love to hit in hand. <sighs> it's kind of a perfect storm of awkwardness. We could still hit prime time. And we could whiff as well. <sighs> I think that Vivian play was so bad. So this is one, two, th three, four. Let's get another red source. Like, Anger seems good, but it's only good against Mentor. It's not good against Primeval Titan or Grave Titan. They also have Control Magic. Marari's Wake. That's pretty good. Boy, I sure wish I had enchantment removal in my green deck. <clears throat> wow, that's really good. Four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that's something. Hmm. Let's go to the next game. Definitely bringing in Shield Breaker. I uh, don't really have a way to play that efficiently. Cut into the royal. Yeah, like Niv Mizza being able to shoot the one ones is great, but then they play Mirari's Wake and it's like, oh. Oh, dang. <clears throat> oh, this is a keeper. A little slow, but I believe in us. Arctic Avenger, what up, my dude? Welcome back. I'm 
Noble Hierarch. Fire, Ice, Electrolyze. Bring it. Okay. Well, that's not... That's not it. It's funny because we need a second blue, a second red and a second green. But all we have is three blue. Three blue. Three blue. Three, three blue. What's the way they do it in uh, Inglorious Bastards where he's like, we knew because of this. Now the question is, do we get a red or a green when the Assassin's Trophy? Probably a green because it guarantees Primeval Titan. And Primeval Titan guarantees Rekindling Phoenix. So they're probably just going to play Knight of Autumn and kill it though. Oh, that's fine. I'm a teacher on summer vacation without a family. Oh my god, that sounds so sad. Arctic Adventure, where does your family actually live? <clears throat> the family you do have. Let's get Lumbering Falls and Copper Line Gorge. Two lands that I don't want to draw naturally. Okay, okay. So we can actually kill Gary here, which is nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana is great here because it lets us keep up Mystic Confluence. Although how good Mystic Confluence is without uh, with Marari's Wake Out, I don't know. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's get Stomper Island. No. Mom and brother live where I was born, Cape Breton in Nova Scotia. My other siblings live elsewhere. Like, okay. <clears throat> okay. I mean, basically, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they play something for nine, it's like, oh, all right, cool, I'll counter that. <laughs> Your siblings are plants. Sure. Okay, so they have one, two, three mana left up. <clears throat> I don't think I care about drawing cards as much right now, but... <clears throat> uh, two of these. Is one card better than this guy? Probably. Hmm. 
Or Eyes Wake and Immortal Sun in the same deck. Wild. Rampant Growth. Okay. Sure. Shieldbreaker is not what I'm looking for right now, but that's fine. Arctic Avenger, ideally, <clears throat> by then, my, my schedule will have reset to uh, a more normal time. Usually, I'll be on at like 2 p.m. MDT. Keep on getting lands out of the deck, yeah. Whoa, awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to get the two fetch lands so that I can crack them next turn. Yeah, Arctic Avenger, man. I really appreciated your support and, the, uh, and you hanging out, man. It's been good times, really. All right, well. I liked it better when I had Mystic Confluence in hand, but... Support man. I really appreciate you, support man. Yep, that's pretty big. That's pretty, pretty big. So we can deal nine, put them to six. Oh, should have cracked these. Well, that was Man, magic moves so fast sometimes. I just click I click I click way too quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's one land in the deck. There might not have been if we fetched. Might have been two. So I actually deny ourselves two cards. Like they block here, they take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they go to six, and they get to keep this guy. And they just drew seven cards. Yep, that is a big yikes. I don't actually think we have an answer for that. <laughs> I mean, we can Kiki Jiki Mana War. But that doesn't seem like a great plan, considering they can replay it. A chat commune. Arctic Avenger, if you haven't done so, you should definitely take, check out the subscriber Discord channel. You just have to uh, download dis uh, Discord on your desktop and then connect the two accounts. Yep, I think this match is over. They have done very well for themselves in terms of draws here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
to go check on Wally after this match. I gotta go see where he is. And we got we got Watson over here. Slinking off the bed. I don't know what we can draw that would actually get us out of this mess. Garuda? Uh, maybe. I guess it depends on what we hit. Sure. Oh, a target. Literally the last land in our deck. We had a 1 in 19 chance of hitting that island. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, that's rough. Chances are literally 1 in 19. Alright, let's see if we can 2-1 this thing. I feel like our deck is good enough. <laughs> I don't want to lose any Bay Days. Oh, sorry, bud. Now Watson's under the desk, because that's just where he goes. Come on, people. Looks like our matchmaking failed. Oh, it did not fail. <clears throat> Let's play first. Sounds good. Oh, Sylvan Carry added on two for the first time. I like it. Yeah, Arctic Avenger, you just have to have a Discord account and a Twitch account, and you can link them in the settings. All right. We're ramping, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Folks of all ages. I think we just keep force up and then like if they play a planeswalker I don't want I don't want that so let's keep force up and then if they don't do anything we can click I'll give out 10 subs people that sign up oh my god that's wild dude man Arctic Avenger flexing that that none of you teacher teacher money I was trying to think of a better word than money so I'm like buddy <laughs> Hold on one second. All 
Are they? Is this? Okay, we're still on our turn. Okay. I was like, do they not do anything? And I'm like, oh, wait, we didn't even go to their turn yet. I still have more time than they do. <laughs> I just had to respond to something. I signed up. Want to throw a gift sub into the abyss for the temple on Twitch who aren't already subbed to Frank. <laughs> Buy a gift sub. What? What's happening right now? Let's click it up. Show me what you've got. Do I force this? Hmm. No, I don't think I care that much. Well, a land or a... Well, a playable card or a land would have been nice there, but... Thank you! Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub, my dude. I appreciate you. Yeah, you guys definitely gave out, like, a lot of subs this month. It's pretty unreasonable, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. This guy. Oh, do we think they're going to do a thing? Fine, never again then, buddy. Listen. Badger, if you never donated another sub or, or donated or gave another gift sub again, like, it wouldn't even matter, dude. Like, you would already be good to go for literally ever. Oh, that guy just died. That was pretty cool. Did you see where he died? He just died. <laughs> All right, next time we can Garuda. I assume they don't have anything exciting because they just have sixth. <laughs> I'm very proud of you know just in general because of all the pride emotes How many of those pretty notes are there? I don't know if I collected them all. I also have no idea. I think I'd rather get Phoenix countered if that's what they want to do. Oh my god, Badger has like a bajillion. Is that all of them? Oh, that's pretty cool. I really don't like having to get rid of Garuda. It's also turn six. We missed a land drop. We hit a land drop. I think losing chicken is probably better than pitching Garuda. Although if they have friggin' mana tithe here, it's going to be less effective now that I've drawn a land. Come on, something. Oh, oh. That's a good hit. Of course, I'm sure they're just going to wrap the board. And I don't have a second blue card in hand. This is so many pride emotes. Guys, I'll be doing a Black Lives Matter charity stream on Tuesday, so be sure to tune in for that. Terminus. Marshall Coup. Cool. God, if it was a friggin' blue card, can you imagine, dude? Oh, boy. Awkward force of negation sitting in hand. Oh, 
Let's get Lumbering Falls, which is already in play. We got one, two. Let's get a green and a red. And we'll play a land, too. What game will be streaming? Same as normal. We're not going to stream anything specific. Sandwich mining. Buddy, I'm sure I'll still see you. Super Fritz, you are one of my favorites, buddy. Oh no, not my primeval titan. Yes, your primeval titan. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine mana. So we, if we draw Kiki Jiki, we just win if they don't have an answer. That's pretty cool. Um, If you know of any... Uh, if you know of any games like that, that would be good to stream by black game devs, definitely let me know. Shoot me a message. Because I'm definitely not opposed. I uh, guess I'll take it. Come on. Kiki Jiki. That's a, that's a land. Hmm. Well, that's something. How am I one short? It did not look like you were, my friend. How are you one short? That doesn't make any sense. Enchantments seem to be the... Um, the deck's weakness right now. Well, that card's pretty good. Still hoping for that Kiki Jiki draw. Kajiki Jiki, as Michael B would say. I know which one it is, I unfortunately don't have it. Okay, well, they're tapped out. They're trying to close out the game in case this Kiki Jiki comes down. Well, that ain't it. Three, four, five. <laughs> he only eats Brian's. Wow. So we got two and a roast. Roast killing this does not do what we want it to do. Oh boy. Yep, let's concede and we'll see if we draw Kiki Jiki. Three turns away is not actually as bad as I thought. I wish we had more... Uh, Hard filtering. Thirst for knowledge could be decent, actually. Uh, 
We have yet to draw a Bloodbraid Elf. Thank you. Super Fritz with the two gifted subs, Thank my you. dude. Thank you for the three gifted subs, my my dude. Oh my god, you just surpassed Patrick. Thank you. That's pretty wild. I was feeling better about the future today, but then I installed the new version of Office and improved my outlook. Oh god. Thank you. Is that an Office joke? Word. Thank you. Oh, Badger with the three gifted subs? Thank Don't you. call it a comeback. I'll keep this slow hand. That's probably going to not do anything. Badger wasn't going to let you have it for more than four seconds. Badger's competitive by nature. I was really hoping for a Sylvan carry added there, but... Alas. How about a Coalition Relic off the top? Danny, I can totally do a step if you want to do a step. For sure, my, for sure, my dude. Whatever you want to do is totally up to you, buddy. Oh, look at this little guy. My next sub badger is 250? <laughs> look at that. He's in your head now. Now instead of badger saying badger. <laughs> That's how he gets in your... He's, he's in your head now. What's in your head? Badger, 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 dur, dur, oh, oh. Thank you. Yurt, what up? Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Do you know anyone who wants to buy a playset of Zenigar? Badger, I actually saw your post. If you make it public, I'll share it. And you can also, I would also submit it to the, um, the high-end MTG group. Sure. The only counter spell we saw was a Roof Soul, so. Oh, you posted in the high-end group? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. My mouse died, and I was afraid of this because I actually don't have a USB cord for it on my desk. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Speed up this mouse. Okay. This was what I was afraid of. Let's see. Okay, okay. Um, is it a land? Or is it two cards? 
or the other way around. It's an artifact or it's two cards. So we're going to draw a card into there. Grimonolith's very good, and it's the only card that lets us do anything. In honor of you and Katie moving in together, your final deck must came pairs of exact mana costs. You can have two GG1 cards, but no more, no less. Oh my god, that sounds really difficult, Danny. You're allowed one card that isn't in a pair, which represents... That sounds really difficult. I love the idea a lot, but I just don't know if that many cards exist in the cube. It definitely makes sense. I just don't know if it's possible. Um, I think we just get rid of two lands here. Because we can draw more lands. Grim Monolith is good, though. Oh, yeah. Fetches are something else, man. Fetches are a whole nother thing. Let's play Grimmy Boy. You counter this? Okay. Well, what can you do? They can land tax, I guess. If it doesn't work out, feel free to play with Rhinos and Garys and Bouncy Boys instead. I do have to... Yeah, I just have to... Once the cube is over, we'll play more Constructed. Yeah, the Collector's Edition cards are also nuts. Just so you guys know, there are 80 of you, 90 of you in the chat right now. And if all of you did this stupid Vikings download tutorial, I would definitely hit my goal tonight. I know it's not going to happen, but if at least like four of you could do it, I would really appreciate it. Because it's super simple. You just download the client, play the tutorial, and you're done. You don't install after that. If you can keep playing, if you enjoy it. But it's a great way to help me out. It's a great way to support the channel. Zombie. So what did they play? They played a uh, forest. They real forest played forest. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just run out of Mc McJeekums. Da 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 McJeekums. Get in there. Oh man, chicken in the corn is sl that slaps. It took me maybe three to four minutes to click the dialogue boxes. Come on, people. I'm telling you, dude. It's so easy. It's the least you guys... It's like... I mean, I, I hate to say it, it sounds weird, but it's the least you guys could do if you want to support the channel for free. Like... Uh, Yurt, there was actually a cube on Arena. It was the historic cube, I believe. What's in your head, Badger? Yep, they're going to tuck this guy. So one, two, actually, oh wow, this actually could be good. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold on. This could be a great turn, actually. What land did they play? They discarded Plains Island and they played. Did they not play a land? Okay, hold on. They, they had to, right? Turn five. Riffling, land tax, real, real reveal. 
cast Riffling Clouds Gate. Plays planes, okay. Like, we know they have Banishing Light in hand, so less effective, but still not terrible. I'm going to buy so many peace treaties. <laughs> I, think, I think the one is enough. This is round three. I assume you're taking Inferno Titan. Good choice. Good choice. That's actually really good. Unless they have Remove Soul. Which, of course, they do. Less good. Uh, probably last draft, yeah. It's like 2 in the morning. Uh, that's not a link that lets you join them. It's just a link that should describe how to do it. It's all within the Discord client. Hey, stay up till 4 a.m. to watch Ant-Man sounds A-OK. -okay. Pretty sure both these lands are gone, but I don't know for sure about the planes. Yeah, Disney Plus is pretty banging. Sounds good. Boy, another blue card in my hand would really go a long way, I think. Can we draw a Gerudo or Primeval Titan, maybe? Niv-Mizzet, maybe? Kiki-Jiki, maybe? I guess I should have known that was what was in here. Play him as an Ant-Man. That is an option. Uh, 
Just heard a loud noise. Oh man, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I nope, still wish I had another blue card. I mean, we could have hit Garrick with Lumbering Falls, but I don't care if it's alive. I just wanted to have uh, Kiki Jiki out in case we end up drawing Zealous Conscripts. So that way we actually have a way to take advantage and try to close out this game because right now they have six cards and we have two. And uh... let's play this and try not to have it go terrible. Hearing lots of noises. They're making me uncomfortable because Michael's supposed to be asleep. I mean, you just gotta let me keep these, right? Is Snark in here? What's the username for Twitch? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because that was who was... Uh... Okay, I think Michael's awake and he's making those noises. Yeah, he was like, you can have this hand. You can't roast my click. What do they get back? Oh, they get back a Teferi. Or a Muldrift. Or, oh, they're all good. All the choices are good. And while we're drawing a Sculling Tarn, I think we're dead here, guys. It's not looking good. Yep, that's all I need to see. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Badger, thank you so much for the gifted subs, for the support, for the, the stipulation, man. Really appreciate it. Um, be sure to check out Manitraders.com. 20% off the first three months of any subscription thank you. with the link and promo code down below. Rat Train is the promo code. And uh, definitely check out Vikings. It's a cheap, by cheap, I mean free, absolutely free way to help out the stream. And uh, like I said, uh, if I get the incentives, like if I if I hit the goal, um, it's great for me. It's a great way to support the channel. And uh, thank you guys for the support. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check Freshly Brewed every week. Cool Stuff Inc. every week. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.